Good morning, my friend. It's Lucy here. Happy foods. Hope you're having a super awesome day so far. It's Tuesday morning. Life is great. Gonna do another what I ate in a day video. Just had uh, four cups of water and I'm um, enjoying my cup of uh, decaf coffee here. A little soy creamer. And uh, yeah, you like the, uh, the new little view? Can you tell I got my stand set up? If you watched my video from yesterday, I got this new stand. It is such an upgrade from what I had, guys. Oh my god, I'm really excited. Um, I can I just got it set up. It can go high, it can go low. I can swivel it very easy. I can go up and down. Um, it's just got way more options and it's way more sturdy. So I'm uh, really looking forward to um, using it and getting familiar with it and doing some better angles for you guys. If, you can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm cooking. I want to put it in my cabinet, although that did work pretty good. Um, yeah, so last night I went to a yoga class, um, and that was really, really a great class. It was like a deep stretching class, and uh, I, I, I needed that, um, so I'm gonna try to go. They got it every Tuesday evening. It's the only evening class. I wish they had more evening classes. I guess they're not as popular. We were. It was Jen and I and two other people, so... But the instructor was really, really good. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, kabucha. I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I got it sitting out. I flavored it with honey and ginger. And uh, we're just kind of doing an experiment to see how long we want to keep it out before we refrigerate it after we add the flavoring. Um, so uh, we started off after like two days trying it. And this, I think we like it a little longer. This was like three days we tried one today, and we're going to let it go one more day and see. It's just so we have an idea. Although, I'm not making this recipe. Again, I had used this recipe from one cookbook, and um, it, it was a little funky. My friend gave me her recipe, and so my next batch that I got going is using that. It's got less sugar. This one called for a cup of sugar, and, um, and the other one has got half a cup, so... Um, I think I'm going to like that better. I don't like anything too, too sweet. I'm going to want to balance. But, um, yeah. I think that's it for now. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to do a little work on the computer. And then I'm going to, um, hit the gym. And then I'll, uh, see you back in the kitchen here. See what, see what it is that, uh, I have first. Probably, probably a juice. I made the juice yesterday and it was killer. But you know what I forgot? I forgot about beets. So I gotta put beats in today. So we'll do that. I am back in the car. Just uh, went to the gym. I'm still huffing and puffing. I gotta go jump in the shower. I'm like so sweaty right now. It's unbelievable. I I wanted to do the um, the uh, the bike. I did that yesterday, and it was awesome. I did 30 minutes, like 10 miles or something, on the little thing that tracks it. And uh, I went in there today, and uh, one of the instructors started to come in. And I said, oh, is there a class? And she said, oh, not till, not till nine. I had like 15 minutes. And I said, oh, that's perfect. I'm going to come back for it. It just reminded me that you push yourself way harder going to a class than on your own. I don't know about you, but when I'm in a class with other people and you've got an instructor and the music's pumping and they're telling you what to do, it's like you just push yourself harder um, than you would do on your own. So... That was awesome. I went to the spin class, and um, thankfully, it was a 30-minute spin class, which was perfect, because usually they're an hour, but I guess on Wednesdays at 9, it's a 30-minute, so I will definitely be going to that. Um, so it just made me push myself a little harder, I think, knowing that I only had to do it for 30 minutes, and uh, I feel great. I mean, I feel I feel awesome. It just pumps your lymphatic system, it just gets you going. You got to make working out, something, yoga, walking, biking, whatever you enjoy, even yard work. I go out in the yard and um, I love doing yard work. I love raking leaves. When we, we moved across the street when we moved and uh, we moved to a corner house and this guy that does uh, my neighbor's yard was like, oh, you're going to have your work cut out. It was you know, with the leaves and everything. And I said, oh man, that's free exercise. I love that kind of, that's how I look at it. It's free exercise. I love getting out there, raking, bagging leaves, doing yard work, cutting down branches. I just look at it as like, you know, getting fresh air and getting some good exercise in. And 
Um, I feel it the next day. So, anyways, I'm going to go home, jump in the shower. I just wanted to point that out with the, the classes. So, I'm definitely going to take a look at the, um, the schedule. And uh, I think I'm going to start taking um, some classes, incorporate that in. Because I can work on my own. But to be honest with you... Um, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the class. I, I think I pushed myself harder, and um, I don't even have to think about what to do. Someone else is telling me. So, anyways, I'll catch you in the kitchen. All right, getting ready to make the juice here. Here's what's going on it this morning. I got some kale, cucumber, ginger, lemon, grapefruit, and beets. Should be really really good. So, I'm gonna juice this up, and I'll show you the finished product with a little taste test. All right, let's pour these babies in a glass. One for me, I bring one to Jen. Look at that color. I love juicing beets. I love eating raw beets too. They're really sweet. Can be a little spicy, but uh, they're really good. You make like uh, beet noodles and shred them in a salad. All right. Look at that, look at that color. It's as good as it looks. Very, very good. When I got the grapefruit, I was thinking grapefruit and beet. That really sounds like a great combination. So, um, yeah, it's really good. It's, good. it's as good as it looks, guys. So, I'm going to drink this down. And uh, I'll be uh, making something to eat real shortly here. Because this is obviously not going to do me in for too long. <laughs> Worked up a nice appetite. But nice and clean. And I'm bringing Jen uh, her juice, and I think I'm going to swing by my parents' house real quick. They're like literally a half mile from, a quarter mile from Jen's job. Everybody's within like a mile of each other, so it's really nice. And uh, grab the uh, ads for the grocery store so I can be having a look. Get ready for my grocery haul on, uh, on Friday. I'm thinking I might have to do a little shopping on Thursday because my kids are off for a teacher workshop on Friday. So that's going to be a little challenging. I do not like bringing three children with me to the grocery store. I cannot think. And they ask me for too many things that are not on the list. So, um, yeah, I might have to do that a day early, but I'll probably post it on Friday. Uh, we'll see. My mom might be able to come over and uh, watch the kids while I shop, though. I'll catch you real soon. All right, I couldn't resist. I had to make some, um, the same thing I had yesterday, banana ice cream with uh, fresh bananas and cinnamon and chia seeds. It is just so good. Uh, I'm thinking I might have to see if I can hunt down some uh, bananas because I'm like down to my last pack <laughs> of frozen bananas and I'm really digging this. This is so good. So anyways, I'm going to eat this and um, I put on a coat because I got so cold yesterday after I ate this. Oh my goodness. It just, I guess it just puts a chill through your whole body. But yeah, really, really tasty. All right. I'm going to get eaten to this. All this chocolate for 72 cents. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just um, had a $10 promotional coupon at Kohl's. And uh, I thought I'd pop in and see if I could find anything. I actually needed a spatula and a shower curtain liner, but I just, the prices were ridiculous. It was like $18.99 for a shower curtain liner and like $10 for a spatula. So anyways, it's right next door to Marshall's. Uh, so I'm going to pop in there. I can get for a lot less. So I was kind of walking around thinking, what am I going to get? Cause it was basically $10 for free. Um, so they had some uh, Valentine's Day candy that was uh, marked down. Not even all that much, 60% off. Uh, they have these candy bars. They probably, they're regularly three bucks because they say these cute little things on the wrapper. And they had them for $1.19 each. So I got nine bars and uh, yeah, came out to 72 cents that I owed. And the lady says, you saved $26.20. Would spend that on chocolate bars, but it's worth 72 cents. So I thought uh, I got I love you, and then I just grabbed some of these. You know, this chocolate bar makes me feel whatever. And they're like small handcrafted bars, it says on the back, and um, it's only like uh, four ingredients. So it looks like it's a 
somewhat better quality, you know, chocolate. Smooch me. So I thought I'd try to hide these in the house and uh, I'm sure it'll come in handy. You know, maybe when uh, the kid's been losing their teeth, I can give them a chocolate bar under their bed, other than the pillow or, you know, we're five females in the house. So I'm sure chocolate, you can always, you can never have enough chocolate, right? <laughs> um, Jen will be happy. She loves chocolate. So anyways, I just thought I want to show you my little, my little chocolate stash that I got. Not bad. Less than a dollar. I'll take it. So now I'm going to go see if I can hunt down a uh, shower curtain liner and uh, a spatula because that I do need. Jackpot. Got what I needed. Got a nice new little spatula and uh, place the shower curtain and liners. I don't know why they don't make shower curtain liners that are like mildew resistant. I don't know. They seem to get dirty so fast. I have to replace them like every two or three months. I just get a whole new one. But uh, hopefully, I don't know, this one looks like a nice one. It'll last a little longer. We'll see. Back from shopping. Needed to fuel up a little bit. So I basically, in this bowl, <laughs> I've been eating it as I've been eating it. Um, leftover mashed potatoes, leftover rice, and leftover chili. Doesn't look the most appetizing because I mixed it all together. But damn, is it good. Mmm. That's some good eats there. Now I got a little time. I'll try to get dinner prepped up. I'm thinking, uh, thinking black bean sliders. That's that sound good. I'm gonna see if I can whip together a little coleslaw to go with it, and maybe a little fries. I don't know. I better get cranking here. Get some prep done before the kids come home. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this first though. I have a few little figgies here for a snack. Got these at Costco over the weekend. Kids love them. These things are awesome. They're, they taste like honey. They're so sweet. So it's going to be kind of like a little dessert and snack. You can enjoy these. These are really good too if you have like a little walnut and you stick a walnut inside. Oh man. Walnuts and figs are the bomb. And then uh, dates with pecans. Tastes just like pecan pie. That's a really good combination too. All right. Got a couple of things prepped for dinner here. I got a tray of sweet potatoes and regular uh, for french fries. Rowan asked me if I could get a sweet potato for her. She loves sweet potato fries. So I'll bake this in the oven. I'll crank the oven up like at 500 degrees. And uh, I'll cook the potatoes and the burgers kind of at the same time. But um, no oil, nothing. Um, I don't even usually put salt on the fries because when I dip it in the ketchup and all that stuff, that's full of sodium. So usually um, I try to just leave them as is and get them just nice and crispy. Um, the black bean burgers, I just did a can of black beans and I did about a can and a half of black beans and mashed them up. Uh, still some whole that still some whole, but I probably mashed up like a good 65% or something of them. And I seasoned with a little cumin, coriander, uh, chili powder would be really good. I kept these real mild, a little salt, pepper, whatever. And um, then uh, to thicken it, usually I would use breadcrumbs, but I didn't feel like wasting my gluten-free bread and toasting it up because uh, it's just so freaking expensive. So <laughs> I came with the idea to take some uh, corn tortilla shells, like taco shells, and I just kind of crushed them in my hand, and I put three of those in there crushed, and I'm hoping they just kind of thicken it up a little bit. I probably should have put it in the Vitamix and made like a corn powder kind of thing or like breadcrumb consistency so I've got some chunks of tortilla in there but you know what you put beans in a tortilla shell so I thought what the hell so we'll see how they come out <laughs> we'll see if anybody asks me what is in these burgers but um yeah I got this and then I'm gonna try to whip together a little salad here too to go with them stay tuned that salad guys I threw together um some kale Bro bro broccoli, uh, cauliflower, uh, which has been rice, and a little bit of carrot, and then the dressing is just apple cider vinegar, tahini, soy sauce, and sriracha. And look at that, isn't that pretty? So here's my plate here. I got a bunch of salad, and I got my gluten-free bread. I got some rolls for the other guys. And I got the black bean burger, some shredded lettuce, some uh, sliced thin onions, um, tomato, and a little guac. And I'll put some, uh, maybe with barbecue sauce or ketchup. And it's going to be the sandwich. 
So I have to give that a try. And uh, yeah, I've got some roasted cabbage here. I might get a little bit afterwards and some sweet potato fries left here. And um, yeah, so let me dig into this and I'll let you guys know how it is. All right, let's uh, let's take a little taste test here. I'm curious to see how this um, bean burger is with, uh, that I made, I used the uh, corn chips to thicken it. <laughs> let's see, I'm gonna dip it in some ketchup here. The ketchup, let me take a bite here. Oh, good. That's really good. I tell you. When you add all the fixings and ketchup, it tastes just like a burger. Really good. Mm. I'm going to try the salad. Kids are eating behind me. <laughs> I made the salad. I wasn't hungry at the moment. I said, Jen, taste this. I haven't, I haven't tasted it yet. See if he needs anything. It's like, ah, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> mm. That is a good combination. I love that. Old tahini, apple cider vinegar, sriracha, and soy sauce. And sometimes I add like a little maple syrup or honey for a little sweetener, but you don't have to. Mm. Hi. So, <laughs> so anyways. This is totally gonna fill me up for the evening, so I'll be good. Thanks so much for watching what I eat in a day. And always eat happy foods. Remember to always foods. eat happy foods, right, Avery? Yeah. And um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe yeah. and um, yeah. give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Crap. And come find me on, on uh, social media. I'll leave the links below. And I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao, my friend.